Hey guys, this is Jessica Gutierrez with Clean With Me Podcast. This is a podcast where I walk you through cleaning your house step by step. So let's clean together. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. So today's going to be another speed cleaning episode. And I like to do these on the weekend because I myself am super busy on the weekends. That's usually when we have family time and whatnot. So, and do stuff with the kids. So, um... I had to implement this this morning. We had to do a quick speed cleaning, me and my husband, before we got, you know, ready for our activities this evening. And I'm just going to walk you through what I did this morning, and hopefully it helps you guys out. So like with any episode, let's start with a load of laundry. Uh, first, prep yourself, um, you know, get get motivated, make yourself, if just the podcast gets you motivated, then great, you're already there. If you have to light a candle or open a window or maybe just throw your hair up in a bun, get ready for the day. I like to do those things. Those get me more um, pumped and ready to clean, especially if I throw in an iced coffee on the weekends. That's always nice. Um, It's, you know, I like to treat myself on days, especially days where we do, you know, a full house. On days where I'm doing a full house, I definitely like to, you know, make myself a nice coffee or something like that. And it's just like a little reward for myself to clean. Just like I said, like with laundry, when I'm folding laundry, I like to like sit back and watch a show and make it more of like a fun thing than a chore. So anyway, do what you do to get yourself prepared and ready to clean. And then after that, uh, make your way to the laundry area and go ahead and just get a do a laundry switch and get a load of laundry going. That way that's going um, and ready. And then by the time you're ready to leave your house or just chill because... Um, some people do, you know, a full cleaning on Saturday. Some people have a lot of activities. I tend to have more activities on the weekend. So, but either way, um, whenever you're listening to this, every once in a while, we're, we have a busy day, whether we're getting ready for work or otherwise. So I hope this helps you. And while you're getting ready to clean or starting that load of laundry, um, I'll just give you a little mini update on my life. So I had mentioned in the last episode that my daughter was diagnosed with chicken pox, but the nurse and stuff wasn't really sure that that's what it was because she was vaccinated and it was really rare. So, um, they, my, my friend's daughter was the same age and she started getting the bumps too. They took her to her primary care doctor and he said basically in, basically he said that that she was an idiot that my doctor was an idiot and that I didn't go to my personal doctor I went to an emergency room doctor but they said that it was hand foot and mouth and that I could have just maybe caught it like at a store or target the nurse that actually helped us I don't know if I said this in the last episode but the nurse that helped us before the doctor came in when I went to the ER with my daughter had said that her kids have hand foot and mouth um, at the time that I took her in and that she goes to target frequently and she's like hey we could have gone to target at the same time and um, that's why she thought my daughter, cause I frequent target, I have an addiction and, um, she was, we were laughing and she was like, yeah, cause my kids don't go to daycare either. So she probably caught it when, you know, just out in public or whatever. And that's what she thought it was. And then, um, so my friend took her daughter in and she said that that's what was wrong with her and that it was hand, foot and mouth, which is gross, but you know, they're over it now. Um, Rosalie is completely over it and better. So, and her daughter got over it a lot faster cause she's still breastfeeding. So, you know, at least it's over with and we know what it was now. And, um, they seem to be the only, I don't, hopefully the only person that caught it from this was, um, the little girl. We stayed away from people while she was infectious. So, but, um, everything's good now. Um, my bad luck, um, knock on wood seems to be over for now and everything's been smooth late sailing lately but um once you guys are done with your laundry go ahead and move on to the kitchen and we're going to quickly clean up this kitchen so grab all of your clean dishes and go ahead and put those away quickly and you know when we're doing speed cleaning we got to do the things that we have to do the things that um you know would be gross if set set out all day or would make our lives harder like you know um the dishes or you know food being left out or you know stuff like that just 
stuff that's more pressing, I guess. So I like to at least, if I'm in a hurry, get the dishes done or rinsed off at least. So if you can do all the dishes, do that. If not, at least rinse them off very well and get all the food off. That way we're not just making more of a mess for ourselves later when stuff's like all stuck on and stuff. So just be doing that. Once you're done putting away, go ahead and do a pre-rinse and... um While you're doing that, um, I really feel like I got my motivation back and, you know, everyone goes through hard, goes through hard times and it ebbs and it flows and, you know, you're up and you're down and sometimes we have good cleaning days, sometimes we have bad cleaning days. I actually was blessed and had my friend come over and she watched my kids and even helped me clean up the house. Remember I said I was a little bit backed up on laundry and stuff. She really helps me uh, get everything done and deep cleaned deep clean my house with me and she's a great friend and she's amazing for it and that helped me get caught up so now I've just been doing you know basic maintenance chores and um that's a really great feeling so I would really recommend if you have help or maybe because I don't really like asking for help but if you have a person that can help you or, um, you know, somebody that can just help you with your kids if you have small kids or something and you could just really spend one day or just a few good hours just cleaning your house one day if you feel like you're behind. One, having someone come into your house to help you with your kids It'll motivate you because while they're there, you're like, okay, well, I have to get this stuff done while they're here because they're not going to be here for very long. So that's a motivation, a motivating factor. And also, um, you know, you're trying to get as much done as possible so you stay on task because, you know, they're only going to be there a short amount of time or whatever. And then if you do that, then your life's so much easier afterwards. And then now I'm like, okay, I only have to do maintenance chores and just pick up after my kids, you know, do a couple dishes after we cook, stuff like that, because I'm all caught up again. And it was super overwhelming when I was behind and I feel like it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I really needed that help. And sometimes, you know, when we're in a bad place, we just need extra help and that's okay. So I guess if you get anything from this, just if you're behind and overwhelmed, don't just sink lower and lower and lower and get your house dirtier and dirtier. Ask for help and, you know, or just take one day and just promise yourself like this, this day I'm going to get caught up and then make a list if you can't get help because I know sometimes, you know, we just don't have help and that's okay too. Just make a list and just be like, okay, this day I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to do all these things and I'm going to do it for myself just so that, you know, I won't just keep making it harder and harder for myself. So personally, that really just helps my mood. I haven't been as depressed anymore. I've been just feeling so much better because when you, it's really overwhelming when your house is dirty. It really affects your mood and it really affects just your entire life, honestly, especially as a mother or a stay-at-home mom. I know not all of you are in that place, but if you do stay at home, I'm sure you can relate with just getting in a funk, like if you're behind on stuff because you feel like, you know, you should like, I'm here all day. The house should be clean. You know, we tell ourselves those things and we beat each, beat ourselves up over it. But honestly, you know, it's really easy to get in a rut when you're just home all, all by yourself. And even when you're working too, this applies when you're working too. When you're a working mom, you know, it's really easy to get behind on stuff and you just need to set one day aside. And for working moms, um, you know, Sunday might be that day or Saturday might be that day for you. That might be your working day. So, Whatever day it is for you, whatever time it is for you to get caught up, um, I would highly recommend at least, you know, reaching out for help or just really setting aside a day and just trying to tackle as much as possible if you are behind and feeling overwhelmed about it, for sure. So just keep doing the dishes. Um, If you're done with the dishes, then you can move on to straight, just quickly straightening your kitchen and wiping down everything with Clorox wipes. If you're not done with the dishes, which you're probably not, or maybe you just want to do a rinse and then you wanted to move on to wiping down, you could do that if you wanted to finish the dishes um, and just work on the dishes this entire 20-minute episode. That's fine as well. But... Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and just move on to wiping down, but you do whatever you need to do in your house. Um, I didn't have very many dishes this morning. I just had a few, so that was just really quick. And then I just quickly put, I had a lot of stuff that was just out of place from the night before because we had a couple friends over last night or family members over actually. And then, um, so I just had some stuff that was just sitting on the countertop camera, you know, mail, whatever stuff that wasn't supposed to be there. So just quickly move everything, put it in their places, put it where it goes, just be straightening up and then grab your Clorox wipes or your rag with soap and just quickly wipe down all of the countertops, everything, just wherever it needs it. Um, if you need to do a spot clean, do that. If you're in a real hurry, you know, make sure you get behind the sink under appliances, just quick, 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 wipe everything down. If your, um, anything is a disaster, like if your stove's a disaster, maybe focus on that. If your microwave's a disaster, focus on that dining room table. If it's just got tons of clutter, then just focus on dealing with that clutter. Just whatever the main problem area in your kitchen is, just tackle that. And then once you're done wiping down, uh, just like I say, do a little spot sweep and just make sure you're getting any crumbs so you're not tracking them throughout your house. And the little hand vacuum I have is great for that. My friend came that came over and helped me, she doesn't have a hand vacuum and she was like, okay, how much was this thing? I'm going to save up for it because... Like, I really want to invest in that. If you have kids, you need one of those. I've been putting it in my car and for long car rides. I mean, I use it to, instead of a dustpan sometimes, to just like suck up the, you know, stuff I sweep up. It's amazing, especially when you're in a hurry and you're just trying to get stuff done really quick and get out the door. It's really easy to just vacuum it up real quick. So, but yeah, just be wiping down and get everything done and, um, you know, whatever the problem areas are in your kitchen, uh, fix that and just quickly straighten it. Just make it look presentable. But like I said, priority is getting food off the dishes. So if all you do before you leave is get your dishes rinsed off and all that food off your dishes and, you know, at, got at least got them in the dishwasher if you have a dishwasher if you don't at least have them pre-rinsed or if pref- if you want to just get those dishes done if the rest of your house is decent then you know do that whatever is a priority for you for me it's usually the dishes um or just getting the food off of them at least okay so just keep keep on working in your kitchen and um by the way I'm loving my car I there was a little bit of a hiccup a light came on on the 4th of July and I was a little worried about it and um a friend of my stepdaughter's knows a little bit about cars and they were like you know um I think I know where to get this part in, at this place called Pick and Pull I guess you can get like old parts out of a car and it's like 20 bucks or whatever so he switched out the part for me and I was just so blessed for that because the light went off and that was the problem. It was like um, some weird sensor started going out and I was like, oh no, my new car. Like, you know, my, fir- my first instinct is to panic and like, oh no, I made the wrong choice. I bought the bad car, blah, blah, blah. But it ended up being like $20 and he fixed it for me. So I was so blessed for him to be in my life and just, you know, things, even when things are going bad, I feel like still good things are happening to me and good things are, you know, things are still falling into place for me. And that was a blessing. Um, now my car is mechanically perfect and I have a feeling it's going to last me and I'm really happy with it. And it's so roomy. It's got so much grocery space in the back and I'm, yeah, I'm loving it for sure. So something good came out of that accident. Um, at least I got a roomier car and I think I got a good deal on it. So But if you guys are done with the kitchen, uh, let's move on to the living areas. If you're not, that's okay. Do whatever you think is a priority in your house. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the outer areas and just get those focal points. Don't look under the couch right now. You know, don't, don't look in the drawers. Let's just quickly straighten your pillows, make them look nice, fix your cushions, um, get, just pick up 
um, your living area, straighten, you know, your rugs, maybe vacuum your rug with a little vacuum or something if you don't have time for that. Well, you know, I have a rug. This is specific to my house. But anyway, just uh, quickly pick up your house, pick up anything that's on the floor, anything that's um, out of place, toys, magazines, books, um, cups, you know, whatever it may be, and just quickly do a pickup and maybe a vacuum or a sweep if you have time just to make it look nice and presentable. If you have small children, um, part of your speed cleaning might include wiping down surfaces like uh, coffee tables, TVs, TV stands, etc. because those get funky really quickly with kids. That's part of my speed cleaning. If it's not for you, then just focus on maybe vacuuming real quick or sweeping real quick or just straightening things and putting things away. Maybe you have like a cluttery um, coffee table or something that you need to take care of, whatever Whatever is the problem area in your living area, take care of that. Um, I usually do a quick wipe down of everything with just Clorox wipes, you know, stuff like that. And mainly toys are my big thing. But, you know, whatever is the problem area in your house, just do a quick straightening. Get those focal points first. And it's always good to just do a quick sweep or vacuum and just make it look polished, you know what I mean, before you leave. And if you have pets, uh, now would be a good time to go ahead and do your pet chores before you leave. Make sure that, you know, if you have a dog, you let them out. I'm just giving, running through what I do before I leave. I make sure they have food, water. Um, you know, if you have fish, feed your fish. If you have cats, feed your cats. You know, whatever you have to do. I like to do my pet chores while I do my louder area chores. That's just me. You may not have pets. That's fine. You know, maybe you need a pack of pack a bag for your kids or something maybe that's part of your outer area getting ready to go speed clean you know whatever it is you need to do um or maybe your living room area is really bad and you just need to finish that but um I'm gonna go ahead and move on quickly to the bathrooms so once you're done with your outer areas and just doing the quick straighten on that go ahead and run on to your bathroom and just get any dirty clothes move those to your um, laundry area if there's dirty clothes on the bathroom floor or maybe in your hamper go ahead and just move those to the ba- to the um, laundry area and then if you have anything like whatever you use to get ready out like makeup straighteners whatever um, or just kid stuff toothpaste whatever on your countertops put that away really quickly and just clear your um, countertop areas maybe fix your curtain your shower curtain it's just a quick straightening so we're not deep cleaning or anything like that just maybe wipe down the countertops real quick pick everything up um, and just organize your your um, countertops and then once you're done with that Let's go ahead and move on to the bedrooms quickly. Go ahead and just make your bed and pick up anything that's out of place and um, any clutter that's on your your dressers or, um, you know, just quickly make your beds. Maybe have your kids make their beds and you can have them be straightening also and just tell them to quickly make their beds in their rooms it makes a big difference when you do little things like that it makes you feel better about yourself if you make your bed before you leave the house it's just the little things you know the little wins I know it's not something that I always you know think of as a big deal because I don't spend a lot of time in my room because it's so small but it really feels good to come home to like a nice made bed and everything so Yeah, just straighten your room, pick up anything that doesn't belong, don't look under your bed, we're in a hurry, and uh, just quickly straighten your room, put everything away where it goes. I have a kid bed in in my room also, so I make their little baby bed and just put all the pillows up, uh, make it look nice before I leave the house, and then just do a once over of your house, look and see if there's any problem areas you can get really quick before you go. If there's not, then grab your stuff, grab your diaper bag if you've got kids. If not, grab your purse, grab your lipstick, and you are ready to go. Thank you guys so much for listening. I know this is just a quick um, episode. I hope you got something from it. I hope it helped you get out the door if you're in a hurry. This is one to listen to if you just um, need to get out of the house really quickly before work or before an activity. 
Um, please follow me on Clean With Me Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. I will put the link of my Patreon in the comments if you want to financially support me, which would be just an extra, and I give little tidbits about my personal life. And also... Um, my art page at Jessica's Custom Work on Facebook and Instagram, all lowercase. Thank you guys so much for cleaning with me. And as always, happy cleaning.